Hello and welcome to this video showing how to run a creep level 1 and level 2 assessment in Inspect. My name is Matt Heil and today I'm going to give you an overview of both the creep level 1 and level 2 assessment and how it can help you with your assessments to quickly and efficiently get a report. So in front of you you see just a simple pipe. We're going to just represent this as a heater tube. So I'll just right click on this. It's just a simple pipe uh, modeled with 200 psi at 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. And on the second screen, it's set up as an 8-inch Schedule 40 pipe. But let's say this has been running for a very long period of time, anywhere from 30 to 40 years, and we want to run a creep assessment on the pipe. Now, under the API 579 menu, you would simply come down and select the Part 10 Creep Assessment option here. Now, I've already gone ahead and set this up, so once we do select that, the creep damage will show on the status bar on the top here. So I can open this up. And we can go through the dialog. Now it's a very simple dialog in that it's just one dialog where all of your inputs are put in. So everything's on the same screen for you. So I've got this set up to do a level one assessment. Now what I've set this up to do is specify the worst case. So if there is more than one component, it would share the pressures, temperature, service time, future expected hours, inputs such as that. Now if you do have a, a tall column or a vessel, and you want to look at just a per component basis, you can select the per component and select which components you specifically want to have done for the assessment. But we'll specify worst case. And from here, we would set, it, set up our operating conditions in the creep range. I've, I've got two. And then we can come in and put in our inputs. So there's going to be inputs such as your pressure, the temperature. So in other words, did it elevate into the creep range, your service time, future expected hours, and, and then there'll be inputs for your uniform metal loss, future corrosion allowance, and then the Brunel hardness if you have it. Um, so if you're going to take the readings, if you've got them, we can have these documented. So that's it. That's all you'd have to put in for the uh, first cycle. And then you do that for the uh, second cycle because we specified two. That's it. The level one curve assessment is done. So I'm going to click OK. We're going to run the calculations. Because if it passes a level one, we're satisfied we, we wouldn't have to go on to a level two. So here's the report. We come over to our creep assessment summary. We can review our nice, neat, professional looking report. Now, the first thing you're going to see up here is the creep summary. It doesn't pass the assessment. OK, so we know it doesn't pass. So we're going to have to do a level two, which we're going to step into. But if you want to review the level one and see, you know, did it just fail level one or where are we? I want to see some of the charts and the numbers. Everything that Inspect does is detailed out here for you. So you can see the, the damage rate chart here, as well as all the calculations supporting the level one assessment as well. But since it's failed to level one, let's do a level two. And this is one of the powerful features of Inspect is that I'm going to switch back to the report here just by clicking on the report icon. And we're going to set up a level two creep assessment. Now I don't need to redo this model or anything. What I'm going to do is just simply click on the creep damage button again, and we're going to, under the analysis type, switch from level one to level two. Now again, I've set up the cycles and the sub increments already for you, but if you do have uh, more information, you can fill that out. And then there'll be level two parameters such as your allowable creep damage, uh, your ductility factor, and a scatterband factor, and then also the analysis method. Now we include three methods for you. We've got the MPC Project Omega, the Larson Miller minimum and average methods in here for you. So that's it. We're just going to click OK here. And I'm going to rerun the calculations. And we're going to look at the report. So again, same report. Just come over to the creep assessment summary. And here's the level two assessment. So you can see here all the different assessments we've done and they pass all of them. So this now satisfies a level two assessment. And again, Everything is detailed out here for you, so you can review all of the calculations, or if it's being audited, you have a full audit trail to show how you arrived at the assessment, whether it passes or fails. And that's it. So within a few minutes, you can actually model your heater tube or your vessel, and you can perform a creep assessment, level one or level two, very quickly and efficiently. Now, if you have any more questions or you'd like to see this in more detail, please email sales at codeword.com or give us a call at 941-927-2670.